everybody, my name is Billy Martini, and I'm a realtor with Earth Real Estate. Today we're going to go on a tour of the newly purchased home from one of Bay Area's most premier anesthesiologist, Dr. Rafael Vieta. This home is located in Redwood Shores, a beautiful resort-like community with an abundance of waterways where people enjoy sailing, kite surfing, and rowing. What's that? I think I hear Raphael coming. Hey, what's up, Raphael? Hey, my name is Raphael. Let me show you uh, the home that Billy helped me buy. Let's go take a look. Todd, let me show you around. So let's take a look at Raphael's house. So this is a nice grand entrance here with my big living room. Um, you can see the ceilings. Got your jet up there. Got it all going on over here. Uh, nice little fireplace if uh, you come and look over here. And you gotta have the new 3D, the new 3D LED TV. Oh, that's the 3D version? All the hooked up one, yes it is. Notice no wires down here. It looks like a picture frame up there. It's quite nice. Back over here, we'll see my nicely remodeled kitchen. And uh, let me show you uh, my office and slash hobby room back here. Come along. All right, come on in. Let me show you this room. So uh, this is my little downstairs office slash hobby room, and I'm uh, still moving in. So it's still going to have to all come together here into a nice little package. And uh, my, other, my other bathroom downstairs here. And a nice little bathroom down here for, for guests and entertaining down here. You go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Did you build all these jets yourself, Raphael? Yes, I did build all these jets. They're very fast and they go over 200 miles per hour. And they're lots of fun. Oh, I bet. <laughs> all right, upstairs we go. Come on down. Great. Oh, what a nice view from the nice big cathedral ceilings for such a nice little home. Come on, let me show you my garage. And nice two car garage. Still getting some things all moved in and settled in. My backyard's a mess. <laughs> still getting a little acclimated? Still getting acclimated, still getting it all settled in here. What are you building right here? It looks like we have a little building construction going on. We do, I'm gonna. I'm going to hope to uh, help extend this little area to make sure I can keep some more things uh, stored indoors and out of, uh, out of the elements. And this, is, this is a nice little backyard, easy to maintain, low maintenance, and I'm quite happy with it. All right, thank you so much for coming and sharing my home with me and my home buying experience with me. It's, uh, it's about time for me to go for a drive to meet up with some friends, and uh, it's been nice getting to know you. All right, have a great day. Um, it, was, it was a little daunting at first. It took a long time to find the right house. 
And once you find the right house, uh, getting the loan was very difficult as well. <laughs> so that's quite, that was quite trying. Yeah, in these uh, challenging times, you know, it could be difficult to secure the loan, and uh, it's, you got to stay persistent. Uh, I think people in this market don't realize that it's not as easy as it once was. You just qualify and you find a house you want, and you're golden. You really need to be focused for your end result. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, and having having a good having someone that can uh, really help you through the steps has been really nice. And um, so finding a good real estate agent that to click with that helps you out, that doesn't pressure you, that uh, helps you feel like you're doing the right thing is also, I think, very important, especially for the first-time home buyers when you're just really kind of yeah. reeling with everything that's going on. Yeah, it seems like a, a big factor just trying to you know, be comfortable and, and really see what what your goals are going to be as a home buyer to find out, you know, you're going to be living here for the next five to ten years. What are you going to be happy with? Your payment, not to be pressured to go over your head. And uh, at the end of the day, you want to come home and be comfortable. That's right. That's right. And, um, you know, it's always nice to dream about bigger and better and more expensive, but it's really, it's, it's really cool to have a, a level head and to be able to just kind of chill out day in, day out. Absolutely. So now after that you have this house and you've been settled in here for a couple months, how do you, how do you feel compared to as when you're renting? Oh, it feels, uh, it feels much better. It's my own home. I can uh, mostly do what I want. Uh, the HOA uh, likes, to, likes to put a little bit of pressure on, but such is life. Um, and um, I think the overall experience of coming home to my home feels pretty good. You feel lucky you don't have to worry about getting rents raised and switching back and forth. Yeah, that's that's nice. And I mean, the landlord is still technically the bank because I pay them money, but I get to do and fix things the way I want to do them, and that's quite liberating. Nice. Um, how does it feel to have a close work to commute? Was that a big factor huge, in your decision? Huge, huge factor. I'd rather commute to go play than to uh, commute to work. Because commuting to work is something you do twice a day, minimum. So, um, but commuting to play, you do a few times a week. So, I thought that was the best of both worlds. I think that's a smart decision, and a lot of people need to analyze, you know, what their needs are. And uh, was there any other major decisions that chose you to buy in Redwood Shores? I really, really like this neighborhood. Um, it's a really pleasant drive in and drive out. I like being surrounded by the water and you can't beat this temperature and this weather. Cool. Alright. Sounds pretty good. So I think that's a wrap and uh, we'll catch you guys later.